Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Sorry, what? A uh, brand new stream of Russian Efficient 4. Oh, we're starting at Tunguska. Hello Felix, how's it going? Hello everyone, welcome to the stream here. Uh, gonna start off with Drygen Chars, Drygen. And we will go on from there. What the heck was I gonna look for? A uh, Burbits. What are Burbits biting on? Okay, never mind. If we look at the dragon char, it's the Hunter 1005 that's working. Look at this icon, whoa. Two of them. Unfortunately, no one has a trophy. I'm after the dragon, but like, it's rare fish, so I don't know if we're gonna do any good. So it's gonna be just for a little bit. Maybe one in-game day, maybe half in-game day, like half hour maybe. And that's it, and then I'm moving on. I'm not gonna spend much time on them. If it's good fishing, I'll stay. If it's not good fishing, I'm moving. Uh, so that's where we're gonna start off with. I might do small river fishing just to get a few quick bucks out of it. After that, I'm not sure what to do. I'm thinking maybe either go tuba, uh, use dead perch for catfish and sturgeons, or go back to amber where we had luck yesterday. I really hope Amber is still active. Uh, we can... Uh, we can do that. Uh, not really feeling confident. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, don't really <laughs> like starting off like that, you know? Uh, but let's see what the game holds for us. Yesterday, no trophies, sadly. I mean, we did get, what, two Crucians? Uh, we welcome, welcome, Mr. 1KG <laughs> Graylings. A firewolf, I know that feeling. I don't know what to do earlier. Jessica, hey, how's it going? The issue is on Discord, on VK, there's nothing. Uh, the only one sure spot is at Volkov. Using PVA, you can get white eye bream and stuff like that. Um, but those are small fish. I have some of those trophies and that's people kind of don't want to see that on stream so It's really I'm just lost But let's see as the day goes on we will figure out what to do and what not to do How are you all doing how are you all doing? It's Sunday already. I am doing good Ruby. How are you? Thank you for asking. Uh, remember, it's, <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, today's a RF4 streamer marathon. Pavanek started off the relay race. Now he's handing the torch to me. I'm going to do maybe three to four hour stream. If it really sucks, maybe probably a three hour stream. After that, Gustav will be streaming. So I'll hand the torch to him. Uh, Pavanek just said he did a face reveal. And now I think... Gustav has a face cam. So, wow. <laughs> there we go. I think face cam gets you a lot more viewers, a lot more interaction. Uh, because it's a little bit more personal, right? People now know how you look like. 
Gus had a face cam for three st streams now. Damn. I only stream on the weekends. Uh, weekdays, I don't even touch my gaming computer. So I really don't get to watch any streams for anyone. Uh, so I usually miss Gus's streams unless he is streaming like right after me. And I'll check out his stream. Uh, but uh, you know what? I like it because Bavanuk is like North American time. Bavanuk does it in the morning. I do it in the afternoon. And Gus does it in the evening. You guys have three different options. What time works for you? <laughs> and that's great. Asher, what's up? Uh, it is going good. I'm just not sure how it's going to go in RF4. Oh, man. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna wait for morning. We're gonna wait for morning and check out this pond here. Uh, do the small river for like 20-30 minutes. Once the bite rate dies, move on. I really want to troll here. Uh, one person said they did really good. But I'm just not seeing anyone troll Tunguska, which means it's sucking. Even though temperature is 14 degrees every day, that's... Good temps. Ruby. Oh, you got a spooler. Ooh. All the best. Uh, apparently wild carps. Are biting, but I feel like the bite rate is very slow. I think 16 kg liter is really good for this pond. Or is it too small? I'm not sure. Because there are pikey pikes here. Uh, Milan, hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Ruby, you're at Old Berg. Nice. We now have two Venges, so I kind of want to do bottom fishing. Let's see how that goes. Hey, we might have a burb. Might have a burb. Who's jingling? Okay. Noise? Something small, but... There should have been sturgeon sterlets here. Although, sturgeons wouldn't be a good idea because you would get spooled so easily. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Ooh. Arctic char perhaps Arctic char Hopefully it's not Hopefully it's Dragon Holy moly that's a fat burb 6.567 kg Come on 
Just give me a trophy, Tunguska. Stop teasing me so much. I know trophy is like 8 kg and we're not even close, but that's still a good size. Old Boogaloo. Chonky. Chonky boy. Alright, hopefully that's uh that's a positive sign. Maybe we'll do good here. Quiet. Ooh. Ooh. Quick bite there. Okay, okay, something decent. That's good. It's gonna be. 2 kg, 5 kg. Ten kg. I think if it was a trophy, um it would fight just a tad bit, I think. It'll take out line a little bit. Six point eight kg, really? Haha, <laughs> six point five six and six point eight four. Oh man. That's nice. That's nice. Holy cat, did I throw that far? Ruby is 17 kg common carp. Sheesh. That's massive. Almost had a trophy there. Nice. You're killing it at old Boogaloo. Another personal best. Wait for this to sink. Jovin, hey, how's it going? Congratulations on your Tagara. You finally got a Tagara. Now you want a trophy, Ruby? I hope you get it. Good luck. Are you at the pond at Oldberg? Pond that's like on the right side of the bridge. <laughs> there you go, you're... Your mod and member tags weren't active, but now they've become active, so that's good. <laughs> mod will be gone soon. No, you're gonna get silenced if you do that, Jovan. KG! 16 KG is good. Uh, let's see. Today is the 8th. Someone got an 8.22. Oh no, today's the 9th. Okay, today's the 9th. No one got one today, but someone got it yesterday. Someone got it day before yesterday. So for many days, this gold lure, this gold hunter has been active. The heck was that? 
I think the water animation just reset or something. That's so weird. I just got some grass carp. You know what? I think I might go amber. I might go amber later. I'm not seeing anyone posting anything from amber on discord, but I am seeing stuff on VK. We will use the same uh, horn, but this time we will actually we won't be able to use our PVA. Huh. There's no point using the tie rods. Oh, what to do, what to do. Either go tuba or amber. I was here before stream, I did catch one non-marker. Uh, Dryjin Char. I'm hoping we can get something here. What's our personal record here, guys? I know during stream, we did get one. 3.5 KT. Can we make a better one today? I don't know. That's why we're here. Trying to beat our personal best. What? Iftab? Where is Iftab? Eyed. Oh, he got an eyed. Okay, we got something here. I feel 16 kg leader is a little too small. Man, they want zebra mussels. Damn it. I don't have zebras. Harvesting bait. Mussel meat. Wait, where the heck are zebra mussels? I think mussel meat is zebra mussel. Oh no, zebra mussels is you have to catch them and then make uh, food out of them. Oh my god, that's just too much. But I can try that perch and see if we do go to Oktuba. Hey, uh, looks like we got something. Something tiny. And I've cast this so far, it's insane. What the heck is this? Eastern Bream? Wow. Out of nowhere. That used to be a very good Ebream spot, eh? Wow, I've never known that that was a spot. <laughs> Is this the 41108 spot? Nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, Perch is, uh... Damn it. Perch is from 100 gram, isn't it? Yeah.
<laughs> Baba Boo is in trouble. It appears he might have a big beluga on. Uh, Ruby, it seems ground bait I made is doing pretty good. That is excellent. When ground bait actually works, it's just perfect. Oh man, a loop perch. Uh, Jonas, hello, welcome to the stream. And yes, Dragon Chars are only in the pond or the lake here. Uh, Tunguska, they're not in the rivers. Ooh. Nice, nice bite, nice bite. Please be dry, Jen. Why is my guy moving up and down <laughs> while reeling it in? Oh, the fish is trying really hard. Oh, that's a dry gin. That's a dry gin. Yes, 2.87. Sheesh. I just remembered that they're common carp cafe orders. And noise. No. <laughs> yes. Um, I feel like I should upgrade my leader here. From 16 to 19 kg. I feel 16 is way too weak. So we're going to upgrade to 19 kg. Hopefully that doesn't bother. 14% uh, of 29 kg should be 27 kg at the least. So our main line is much stronger than our leader. So that's good. Unless my math is wrong. Then uh, correct me. 29. All right, so 13 minutes, we finally already have a marker. I'm happy with that. Even if the next 40 minutes we don't get anything, which I feel like that's going to be the case, um, I'm still content. Sixteen kg grass carp order. Oh my god, Ruby, that's just perfection. <laughs> that's perfect. Got something tiny. Perch. If we get a live perch that I can like make into live bait, it might be enough to convince me to go to Achtuba. Mole, 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 mole. Yeah, we do have a lot of mole crickets. Uh, so we can use mole crickets there in relation to the dead perch. This, uh, this form of fishing is very... Low, serene, calming as well. Not just the Tunguska River. It's just that you never know how little or how much you're going to earn here. That's the only issue. You might make 180 silver in one hour or you might make 400 silver in one hour. 
and even the small river uh, is the same thing. I've spent a few hours there now. Like I only recently started fishing at the Tunguska small river and I was most of the time making 300 silver per hour. Uh, but the last many hours I've been making two 250 silver. And what Big says is absolutely right is that the small river is very weird. Uh, sometimes in 20 minutes you're going to make 400 silver and sometimes in 40 minutes you're going to make 200 silver. So it's very very hit and miss and I kind of don't like it and I feel like I'm going to get put off really quickly with uh, the Tonga small river. I love those graylings though. I really want a trophy so I'm probably going to keep at it. <laughs> oh man another dryden char non-marker though ah uh, but i'm happy with it Batman, Ignis, hey, how's it going, guys? What's up? <laughs> oh man, I'm just Baba Boy, oh man, poor guy. I think he's fishing a tuba with a caliber, and it seems he ended up catching or hooking onto a 250 kg beluga on the caliber uh, so he's major screwed right now like major screwed I don't think it's possible to bring in a beluga of that size and everyone in the chat is like oh man you're in trouble <laughs> uh, oh my god he's using a caliber and a 26 kg rod yeah not happening not happening. Baba Bui, what were you thinking? True, he wasn't trying. No, you know what? No. He's using a zebra mussels at a spot where you can get sturgeons, big catfish, and beluga. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Ivan, hey, what's up? How's it going? Uh, what is Beluga gonna do, I wonder? You know, if we could hook a 250 kg Beluga, it has to be right now. Um... So, we can finally reel it in by the end of the stream, like three hours from now. But our Venja friction break is already at 13%. So that will help me because I do want it to be 15% minimum so I can repair it. But if I'm going to hook a 200 plus kg fish, I don't think that's wise. Oh, we just unhooked. Oh, that was a fat perch, but it's okay. 
It's okay. I'm surprised at why I even have this gold hunter, but I'm just happy for once I'm getting to use it. <laughs> Pavanuk! Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Ivan, today just came to watch. You got some drinks too much. Never drink and fish anymore. What? They just came to watch. You got some drinks. I, uh, I am drinking my leftover energy drink from today morning in real life. Uh, but yeah, I, I have tea and all of this. Ruby, I don't have premium. Are you asking me this? You know the answer. Fish pieces. Where is my fish pieces? 2,733 fish pieces. And I can't even send anything. Uh, Bavanok made 1,400 silver for three hours. Hot oh, damn. That's 400 silver per hour? Dude, that's really good. Even I'm happy with that. <laughs> Bavanuk, it's so funny what's going on right now. Um, Bavabui is at Aktuba with a caliber and like a 24 kg rod. Okay. <laughs> And he just hooked on what Big and other are saying is a 250 kg Beluga. He's major screwed. <laughs> I really wanted to troll Tongue again today because it's nice weather. 14 every day. I know, he should alt F4 because I don't think you can reel in a 250kg beluga even if you manage to fight it for 25 years. But once it dies, like your leader is probably at 1kg, your resistance break is probably dead. Damn, another marker drygen guys. Look at this, 2.8kg, 1.68kg and a non-marker. I'm happy with this. When Baser, hey how's it going? you soon, Bavi. Oh. Uh, Gustav, hey, how's it going? <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yes, guys, we are going to be doing a hype... No, wait, hype train is a Twitch thing. Uh... We are going to be doing a raid to Gustav at the end of the stream, I hope. You all can make it. Uh, but do check out Gustav and Bavanuk for that matter. I know most of us are familiar with all four of us. Uh, Mascudis, Gustav, Bavanuk, and myself. But if you haven't already, check out the channels. They do RF4 as well as other games. And uh, fun watch. Uh, heard that Baba hooked a 250kg Beluga on the Caliber. I don't know what the heck he's thinking. Honestly, he should just alt F4 because it's just not possible on the Caliber. Someone had told him. <laughs> Ruby, good luck. Your line is burning at old Boogaloo. I don't start for two hours, so no pressure. Perfect. You never know, Gustav, if, if R4 is really bad to me. I might end early. <laughs> and I'll just wait for you. <laughs> uh, where are you going today? Well, what are you fishing for in RF4? Because honestly, I just... I'm not seeing anything... Good going on at... Uh, in RF4. Thing is, he didn't mean to hook it on a zebra muscle. But the thing is, when baser on the zebra muscle, you're gonna hook a sturgeon or a catfish. And those are big fish. And you don't want to use a caliber on those big fish. Even, like, I, I just don't know. It's not wise. 
No idea. I've been getting crap for the last week. Oh my god. You and me both. Yesterday somehow though, Amber was amazing. Amber was insane yesterday. Uh, today I'm not seeing much activity from Amber like on Discord. So I'm kind of worried maybe Amber is kind of dead. But uh... Martin, hey how's it going? What's up? Uh, you know a streamer that got a 68kg trophy Russian sturgeon on a caliber. Ah uh, damn! That is skill. That's like using an ultralight setup for, I don't know, trolling at Tunguska or something, and you get a taman on it. Wow. I wonder how long that took. That's insane. One Baser realistic simulation. He stays up till night on a school night, then after so much trouble, his friction break completely wears out. Oh man. That's just garbage. <laughs> that sucks. It took about two hours. Wow! You know what? Two hours is not bad at all. Two hours is amazing on a caliber. Because I know when I got the 55 kg Russian Sturgeon trophy on my uh, Tagara with I think 36 kg line or 32 kg line, I took me about 50, 45, 50 minutes. To reel it in. So to get a 68 on a caliber in two hours, it's it's insane actually. <laughs> so the bite rate here guys, not the best, honestly. Well obviously. We're not gonna be making any money here, but um, I'm super happy that we already have two markers. Look at this. 2.8, 1.6. And look how it started. Uh, on the Hunter, we got a 6.8 kg Burbit, 6.56. And then right after that, like two minutes later, on the Nightcrawler, we got a 6.8 kg genie fish. Genie eggplant, I call it. Uh, Nicole Tess. Hey, how's it going? Oh, welcome to the stream. What's up? Uh, 145,000 XP left until you level up. Nice. Hope you get it soon. You know what? I think... Let's go ahead and get in some trouble today. Let's go to Oktuba. Uh The reason I'm so skeptical and I'm... I kind of don't want to go to Oktuba is because... Uh, fishing for Sturge, Catfish and all that stuff could be extremely slow bite rate. So for like half hour I'll be just sitting there without a single bite. Which is why I'm not sure if we should go there. Um, the tub... Gitabaza? I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Welcome to this family. Thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Look at that. Beast with 938 gram Isabarian Grayling. Today you caught a trophy a common without PB and spot. Big fat congratulations. Isn't that the best? You don't do anything, you know, you just throw something out and you're like, alright, let's see what happens. And you end up getting a trophy. That's perfect. That's kind of like what happened yesterday, guys. Uh, like I wasn't... For a while, I was not using a PVA. I was not using Spod. And we still ended up catching just insane amount of fish. 35 gram. That's pretty cool. Let's go. Give give me, give me another marker. Give me a trophy instead. How about that?
I think I should message Big right now. Uh, you'll probably need to fix real after you're done fishing. <laughs> yeah, you're you're getting your reel destroyed by those carps. And uh, you know, I remember when I was new, and I was at Old Berg, and I was tired of catching small fish, so I started putting size one hook and potato at Old Berg to catch big carps. And you know, like I remember. It took me like half hour to get a 9 kg carp and that was my biggest fish ever in RF4. Well, and you know, catching 1 kg fish and all of a sudden catching a 9 kg was insane. But the thing is, at low level, I was making like decent amount of money where after the reel had like 20% or 30% friction break damage, I would just buy a new one and keep moving on. So I never had to repair my uh, low-level reels when I was new. You're constantly upgrading stuff, so you don't have to worry about damaging your stuff. As long as you play smart, is what I'm saying. Let's see, big Russians are hot there, cats are there too, so yeah. Noise. All right, guys, we're going with tuba. Let me change the stream title. Uh, 286 silver and 30 fish on corn. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, with carps, there's literally no spoolers except for trophies. Um, on the Tagara? At Amber, yes. Um, if your Tagara is brand new and the friction break isn't damaged, you can... Reel in a trophy common carp in uh, like less than 30 seconds without it taking any line out. Uh, if it's a 20 plus kg mirror carp non trophy, that will take out a little bit of line possibly. On HSV. Uh, Ruby, your bites died. Yeah. Uh, your line is damaged 2.8%. That's nothing. Look at this. I'm using 14 kg line damage. But that's because I'm using small leader. Uh, but it really sucks. You buy, you know, 500 silver line. And after it's like 10, 15% damage, you can't use it anymore because it's too weak. Look at that, another non-marker. Nice, they are active, it's just very... Uh, you give back a line that they've sent me, I think it's a 60 plus percent. <laughs> Holy cow. We have a fish on, on the bottom. Oh, look, we have a fish on this. I, I was thinking we have a fish on one of those rods, but I think it was on this all along. All right, what do we got here? Perch. Arctic. 
yeah. That's a lot of red, eh? Red bellies. Uh, you even got spooled by two kids. Wow. I remember going pike fishing when I was still low level and it was so much fun. Pikes are so scary on weak gear. gear. Uh, because your resistance will go from green to red, green to red, green to red. And it's just such a unique fight. I love it. It was just so much fun when I was new. And obviously pikes are big money. Uh, so that spot by the birch tree on the bridge. Loved that spot. I've streamed there several times when I was new. Ooh, we're getting something. We're getting something. I hope a trophy of more cat and a trophy burbot are on our bottom setup. Never mind, it's tiny. Uh, Jonas, I'm using 40 retrieval speed doing stop and go. Baba Booey, you're in big trouble, man. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> you got a huge beluga on your caliber. What were you thinking, Baba Booey? What were you thinking? <laughs> Oh, man. Fishing for a small sturge. Baba, you just don't get a small sturge if you're fishing for sturgeon. That doesn't to be learned, but I doubt it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just... Oh, that's funny. You don't go sturgeon fishing and expect to just get a small fish that you can just reel in easily. Just all the four before you destroy your caliber. Even more. Holy cow. Hey, very strong bite right off the bat. What is this gonna be? Just give me a reddish orange yellow belly and I'm happy. Oh no, he cut his line. Oh man. RIP on that one, Baba, but uh, yeah, that's way too big for the Cali, bro. These have color. Oh, 3kg Arctic. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Oh, he's still fighting. He just cut off his other line. Or something. I don't know. Yeah, I thought he cut off... The beluga he was fighting, but... Okay, no, that was another line that got a big fish on. He just decided to cut that off because he's fighting the... Beluga. So you know what? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. I hope it has a good ending. Uh, but statistics show 0% uh, chance on that. <laughs> Damn it, Perch. What the hell? Couldn't you be just 200 grams or 199? So I can turn you into live bait. <laughs> yeah, that's... Calibre is getting a punishment today. All right, guys, here's the plan. All right, I'm going to try for dragons till late evening into overnight. In the morning, we're going to go to the small river. We're going to make a quick money there. And then we're going to leave for um, Aktuba, where we're going to try for sturgeons, catfish, and uh, just destroy our Tagara and our Venja. 
because I have two TI rods, tie rods, so we can use 60 kg line on the Tagara and the 70 whatever kg line on the tire uh, on the Vencha. Uh, Felix, you need uh, tips on your first carp rod setup. Okay. Fortuna 360XH for Rod. Ooh, thank you, Gustav. I was gonna open my inventory and see what I bought when I was new. Oh, uh, just under a marker. Welcome, everyone, to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you're enjoying it. Please don't forget to like the stream. Uh, so what was my starting bottom rods? Heavy S80XH, 15 kg, wait, no, this is a uh, spin rich fishing, whoops, <laughs> just testing you guys, um, super doo doo, comfort, comfort 360 is a 6 kg, then I went 390, which is a 14 kg, The caliber is a 15 kg reel, so you want a 360x etch. Do I have a 360x etch? I want to see how many 360x etch is it? What? That's a 39 kg rod. Mectacarp. I did. Probably did. Uh, I see Comfort FD360 a 6kg rod as my lowest setup here for bottom feeding. Then it was a 390, which is a 14kg. Then I went 420. If you're going to go with the caliber, caliber is a 15.5 kg reel. So you want a 15 kg line with the caliber and your rod should be, you know, 16 kg. And obviously your leader is supposed to be 14 kg. But it depends on your budget, honestly. It's really hard to tell or give you advice what your budget is. Uh, but caliber is the best reel you can get because it will last you a very long time until you get the 26 kg Tagaras. The mech weight. Here's the net. 44 minutes, uh, two marker dredgens, 1.7, 2.8, and two non markers. Uh, he could run a 30 kg line and a 28 kg leader. Yeah, he could. As the line wears down, it's still going to be effective at 29 break. All right, Ruby. Hope your one hour of fishing is productive. Perch. Uh, it's very, it's RNG. I'm not doing anything special. It's just luck. I got a 2.8 and a 1.7 in almost an hour and that's it. That's all I have and I have non-markers and that's it. Uh, so maybe you fish for, an, you know, another hour and you might get like four <laughs> markers. 
Gonna play some Counter Strike. All the best. He's. <laughs> I'm using Re Power. Amour? No, Eastern Bream. Eastern Bream, get out of here. I don't want Eastern Bream. Uh, I kept it because it doesn't deserve to live anymore. I was unhappy with it. <laughs> Fortuna with caliber. How is? Hey, how's it going? Uh, 40. 40 retrieval speed, stop and go. I did not waste silver. Absolutely not. That was a non-marker. That's definitely not worth one silver. Two or two again. Right above the live bait. Guys. First cast dragon at 2.8 kg. Holy moly. And Jonas, nice work. Hello and welcome. Look at that. 2.8. As big as we have. Been good at fishing at carps, but not a good bite rate. Oh man. Need to save up many thousands. Oh, Felix. Welcome to RF4. It's going to be a lot of grinding. But you'll get there, hopefully, if you uh, stick to it. Uh, Talvi- uh, sorry, not Talvis. Talvidis? You're looking for Silver not sure where to find it? Yeah, I know. I don't know either. Amber was really good yesterday. I think it's probably just as good today. But I haven't gone there today, so I don't know. Um, for Silver, I'm gonna quickly go to the... Uh, Tunguska small river in the morning. Make quick silver there and then just leave. A question mark, what's going on? Yeah, having golds is gonna keep you playing this game. When you don't know what you want to fish or what to do, that's when the trouble comes. Uh, Nikeltis, your first five minutes and you got a 3.6 kg. There you go. RNG. What spot, small river? Um, I'm going to be fishing at 107, 102. That's the mouth of the river. And if that is slow, I'm going to move to the campsite. 159, 141. Why? Why do you want me to say it again? I don't want to say it again. They got a decent fish here. 2, 3, 4 kg. These be dry gin. Please be yellow belly. These. Oh boy. Winner of the week. Bam. Fish is fighting. Maybe a 5kg fish? These? No, it's an Arctic. Damn it! 4.568kg. If this was yellow, it would be just amazing. 
uh, E3. Elephant 3. Spider Bream and Blue Bream at Wolkov. Yeah, I just don't want to go there. I already have Wide Eyed Bream. Um, I just need a Blue Bream trophy. And I need a Days trophy. And I know you can cap both at Wolkov right now. Um, but it's just. It's just, I don't know. It's not very. Exciting to watch on a stream. I feel like that one, that's what you're fishing for. That's good. I think you're making good money there. I uh, got one 8.4. Hoping for a yellow. Oops, a two. Uh, Piaitakas? 4 to 500 silver at 132 yellow caviar corn. Just the 3 hours I made 1.2k. Wow. That's amazing. You know what? Amber was amazing yesterday for us. We were making 400 silver per hour there for 2 hours. And I was super happy. Uh, setup. 19 kg leader hunter 1005 with a 3-aught hook. I don't remember the price of the caliber. Twenty eight K. Nice. Yeah, caliber is an amazing mid tier reel. It will probably last you till you get the Tagaras. Uh, so when I'm using the spiker at the small river, I'm using 40 retrieval speed. If I'm using the popper, I'm using 20. Uh, sorry, 30 retrieval speed. Since I can cast the spikers far, uh, I just use 40. Uh, what spiker? It's the green one with the dots. I will show you in just a moment. I think it's 1005. Uh, it's number 2018. Number 2018. Adam, hello, welcome, how's it going? Wait, what? What's yellow? That's green. One kg. Uh, use a liter 6 to 9 kg, I would say. For the Tunguska Small River. Uh, this is green. That is definitely green. Dylan, hey, what's up? How's it going? 
So at the small river, I'm using a spiker 2018 and I'm using a size 2 hook. That is not yellow. This looks very green to me unless I'm colorblind. What? In the light, I can see it's kind of yellow. Wait, am I yellow colorblind? This text is yellow, is it not? It is possible to send this item to another player. That's yellow? Are you guys screwing with me? Okay, so that's... Okay, so I'm not colorblind. That is yellow. Alright. How the heck is this yellow? I see green. In these screens, they look all green to me. People say use the green spiker. That's what I look at. I've been using these my whole life as green. You guys just think they're yellow. What? You want it is yellow? No. They're yellow green. Okay. I agree more with that than saying it's pure yellow. Uh, so Arctic railings yesterday, people were catching them on the spiker I was talking about. But today you can see it's the, the popper. Someone got yesterday on the popper. Then East Siberian railing here. You can see it's on the spikers. Spiker 218. Yellow green. Okay. Holy cow. Like I was yellow. Which does have a hint of green. Okay. See to me here, right here. It looks more green than it does yellow. But everyone is saying this is more yellow than it is green. Uh, so something's wrong with my eyes. But it's Spiker 2018. I need to go to the optometrist now. <laughs> oh man, it's not good. Oh, it's 3.30. We gotta gotta move on, guys. We gotta go to the small river. So, uh, after I reel this in, we're gonna move. I mean, this is green. I can clearly see that. And this is yellow. Or orange. Yellowish. <laughs> um, our spots 106, 101 active at the small river. Is it 106 at the mouth of the river? That's exactly where I'm going. 106 and the campsite both should be working. I was there this morning. By your first zebra muscle, congrats. Congrats. And okay, we're gonna quickly sell our fish. And what spot is good for spinning the river? Uh, are you talking about winding rivulet?
Okay, tongue, sure. Yep, I am going to that fin fishy spot. Guys, please don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate it. This game is taking forever to load. There we go. Obviously, no cafe orders. Why would there be? Rough verbit five. Ooh, fifty-five silver. We actually got an order. Nice. A uh, ten kg dragon char. Unfortunately, nothing for that. So fifty-five silver there. Plus 136, 5, 6, 7, 8, 180 silver in one hour. Again, this isn't about money at this spot. 37 silver, this 2.8 kg dragon. Alright, let's quickly go to the small river. When is Tuba? Um, I don't know. Maybe after half hour of fishing here. As long as if the fishing stays good at the small river, I'm going to stay. Because it's free money. Uh, once the fishing starts to suck, that's when I will move. Where are you? It's, all, it's about... It's always about money. It is. Well, no. Felix, we were at... We were going for dry gin chars. It wasn't about money then. I know that's, you know, not good money. Oh, whoops, uh, wrong lure. But now it's about money. Biker. The color of it, I will not say. There we go. Money and big fish. Ruby, calm down. No. There we go, that should be a grayling, I hope. I hope. No, it is a sharp snooted Linux. Color to be decided. Uh I'm gonna email people and ask them what color that is. Based on their responses, I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh man. This is light or medium light. I don't know what the hell this is. It's not considered anything apparently. It says it's medium light setup. But I've never been in the weeklies for anything. Maybe because I've not caught anything big. Or this is just not considered medium setup. Finally, we have a marker here. Uh, 459 a gram. Baba Bui, still in trouble, eh? <laughs> oh man, you're gonna be at it for like 10 hours, aren't you? I hope it's not a long fight. I hope you get whatever it is you're fighting. Four hours and I log off, damn. Well, hope you get in those four hours. Uh, sharp snooted. Yes, it is a marker. Let's go. Oh, you will. Oh, you're determined. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, grayling. Very nice. 442. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, 500 gram grayling are 15 silver each. And uh, we need to catch plenty of them in order to make some good money. I need to go. I'll be back a in a bit. Dylan, no problem. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you soon enough.
brown trout. Very small. Ew. Man, I wish uh, the East Siberians were active, actually. Since we are at Tunguska. But it's been a while since I've seen a uh, East Siberian spot. They haven't really been active, have they? Weekly other region. Other region weekly. Oh no, it just reset. Uh. Siberian storage. Oh no one's caught East Siberian yet. Something that's all. This is a relaxing activity. Until you hook on to a 10 kg Taman on this 5 kg setup. I have done that before. Actually, weren't we streaming when I ended up catching a 10 kg Taman? Yes, it was. 623 grams. That was just terrible. Uh, but I was kind of surprised how quickly we reeled in that 10 kg Taman. Uh, that's kind of surprising. How much damage do we have? 8.6%. I just repaired this reel too. I just, that's why I, don't, I absolutely don't like these light and medium setups. They just get destroyed so easily. And uh, I know the cost of repairing them is very little. Honestly, don't care about that. It's just the time it takes to repair. Like you still have to waste an hour to two hours uh, repairing stuff. Ruby, do you do you need a timeout? Because <laughs> Ooh, as good as nose. What? When you cast, you should let it sink. Okay, nice. Probably a brown trout. No, it's a sharp snouted. Nice. That's a 1 kg right there. Uh, 1.054 kg. Nice. We got six minutes, six markers. Let's see if uh, we get anywhere with this.
small brownie here. Give me a 1kg, please. Actually, since they just reset, sure, everyone is using the spiker, aren't they? Look at that, all different ones. The popper. Can use the popper. Aha. Uh -huh. Spiker. Both working. I just released non markers because they're not worth anything. And it just bothers me. I like a very clean net with only markers. This just barely a marker. Here's another tiny one. <laughs> yeah, six eight hundred sixty two silver is rich. Very. <laughs> now I've been doing this for a very long time. The thing is, non-marker fish are worth 3 cents. So they literally just don't contribute at all. Uh, so I just throw them out so I, ha I can tell better at how much approximately I'm earning. Uh, because this is, when there's too much junk in your fish bag, it's just hard to tell if you're doing good or bad. Hold on to a tree, Ruby. <laughs> we have 57 silver. We have a long ways to go. We were all there. Come on, why are these small fish fighting? On a two sized hook. Oh, damn. That's true. I agree, Gustav. <laughs> Alright, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, switch to Popper. Uh, let's reduce our speed to 30 here. Hi, uh, is this the fire department? <laughs> I like to report a burn. Oh uh, man. Uh, see, this is the issue. Like, for 10 minutes, we did good. 
and then all of a sudden it died and it's only 10 a.m. Uh, that's what I just don't like about it. Uh, someone needed a timeout. Us tomorrow. Are you gonna be busy? Monday? Because, uh, Mescudis and I were thinking of doing Phasmophobia. And I wanna, like, have you and Bavinuk with us as well. I'm thinking tomorrow, like, Eastern Standard Time. Ooh, 792 gram. Yes. You're off tomorrow? Okay. Perfect. Just trying to coordinate here. Okay, I like that. 792 gram. Give me a 1 kg, please. Okay, another nice. 423. I love the colors. Oh my god. And it takes up, like, majority of the screen. Just looks so good. Looks so good. Love the patterns, the color, such a clean fish. And you know it's like worth at least like what 10 silver for 23 gram. Alright. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see what I can do, Gustav, tomorrow, like my time morning. I'm gonna message you and uh Babby and Miss Kudis in the morning and see where everyone is and try to do something. Unless I'm busy tomorrow morning, then it's just up in the air. A uh, tent silver. <laughs> yeah, Felix. Like, they are worth good money. But, um... You need to catch a lot of them, though. As good as they are. In quality. And that's the thing about the small river. Like, some days... In 40 minutes, you'll make 400 silver. And some days in one hour you'll make 200 silver. It's just everywhere. Jess, uh, you'll have to eat for a few. And Ruby went off the rails already. Yes, you missed it. <laughs> uh... I hope you enjoyed your food. How's fishing? It's okay. It started off great at the small river. Uh, then it slowed down, so I switched to the popper. Uh, we do have a 792 gram grayling. That's our biggest one yet. Trying to get anything we can before we head to Octuba and destroy our gear, hopefully. I just hope we get bites there at Tuba, because uh, it doesn't seem like... Uh, an intense spot. But if Octuba is completely dead, uh, then Amber is always our backup there. Amber should be still active. People are saying they're doing good. Look at that. Just grilling after grilling. 466 gram. Keep it coming. <laughs> also, also, uh, if you are doing fishing at the campsite with spikers and poppers, you have a chance of getting a, uh, that round fish. Where is it? I don't know what it's called, but I've got two of them at that spot there and they are rare apparently. And I just love the way it looks. Kind of looks like a purse, like a lady's purse. There, round whitefish, 1.145 kg. I've got two of these so far at the spot. I love this thing, come on. Doesn't it look sort of like it's kind of gold here or something, like a purse? I don't know why, it's just such a weird resemblance I have. Oh, yes, were you here for the, the spiker debacle? 
sort of thing. Thank you, thank you. Are you there for the spikers? The viewers and I uh, are not seeing eye to eye. <laughs> no, I'm completely normal. <laughs> how how is this possible? No. No. Oh man. Oh, fish right off the bat. Railing. Uh, we didn't level up on our fin fishing yet. Thirteen. I hope Octuba treats as well. I just... Oh, it feels so good. Uh, on the Venja when you full lock and bring in Sturgeons. 20, 30, 40 kg ones. Oh man, it's so good. I know I've uh, full locked two 40 kg uh, E-Siberians. Very scary. Very risky, but man. Once you get it in, in a few seconds, it just... Feels so good. And they're like, what, an easy 100 silver right there. Alright, I think I should move because the spot's not really giving much. Dylan, welcome back. Brownie. 567, one last cast. Uh, 20 minutes, 11 markers. Still looking for the Arctic and the East Siberian Grailing trophies. I want them so bad. And I'll keep fishing these rivers. Till I get something. Because troll-wise, I'm never going to get a trophy. Any idea why your 14 kg setup feels like a 3 kg setup? Uh, depends how much friction break damage you have. Depends how worn out your line or leader is. It could also be maybe your leader is really weak compared to the rest of your setup. Or it could be that you have a very low quality hook. But I don't think the hook is an issue when you're talking about 15, 20 kgs. Or is it? I'm gonna have to check that spreadsheet. Everything is under 2kg, even the friction break. Friction break is 1.8. Weird. I think, honestly, the best thing you can do is, uh... Post your setup on, uh, Discord. MDog, Discord, or whatever Discord you're on. Uh, off your setup, and it's just easier for us to see and tell you if something is off.
All right, baby, let's go. Give me something good here. I think you're not supposed to cast too far here. I think 80 to 90% throw is good enough for the spot. What is this? A pinky. Very small. Probably still fighting the beluga or the sturge, whatever it is. Uh, 950 gram sharp snooted linux. Weeklies coming in yet? Look at this. Uh, Vibra Spinner S102. This is definitely yellow, isn't it? These are yellow lures. Look at that. Vibra Spinner. Never seen these. What the heck is this? Tiny little schmelt. Okay, that's yellow. See, I can tell. Just don't get about that lure, though. The 018 spiker is gold in color. What? I am not even. Okay, I'm just... I can't odd right now, so I'm just not even. Marker. Man, the temperature is good. I just... Uh... Oh, we lost that fish. Uh oh. Oh, we're getting snow. Walls. Haha. <laughs> Dylan, that is amazing. I don't think I'm going to get any trophies today. Uh, but yeah, let's do it. That sounds awesome. If we get it, huzzah. If we don't get it, it's no probs next time. <laughs> Thanks. Imagine I get a trophy at a tuba. That's some big trouble right there. <clears throat> All right, you know what? I think we should leave then. Because uh, if hey, if I am to go to a tuba and let's say we do get a decent sized fish, uh, we're going to expect to get a one hour fight, let's say, and I need at least one more hour or two more hours uh, for the stream. It's best not to go there last minute. So one more cast. We're going to sell the fish. And then we're going to go to Tuba.
Yeah, small river is being poopy. Unfortunately. It always starts off great sometimes and then it just poops out. Uh disassemble. This is uh let's let's see. Uh, where is my TI? <gasps> TI! Oh, you're going, going here. 360 Carpo, you're going here. Alright, let's get set up here. Full speed. Uh, let's do bait fish. Oh no, hold on. 33 meter clip. How the heck am I going to do this? Oh boy, guys. This is heavy duty setup. Kind of scared. Uh, no leaders. Uh, four odd hooks. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, loads of bleaks we have, but we need a dead perch. 33 meter clip. I hope we can cast 33 meters. Seven eighty-five gram chub almost broke your fourteen kg setup. I feel like something's really wrong. That's not good. Uh, this is going to be. 60 kg setup. We are going to put uh, 112. Did I use? No, we should use this. Uh, take off the leader here. Use a, a two odd hook and put. Oh, what should I put? Mole crickets. Mole cricket. Uh, Dylan, I'm going to Octuba right now. Uh, we're going to get in some big trouble. Uh, this is the sweaty part of the stream, guys. Uh, loop rig. Loop rig, tagara, fishing line is going to be... 39, fight indicators. Sure. Are we using feeder leader? Sure, let's do that. 38 kg, where are you at? Ah, poop. 36. So many leaders. Uh, 36, I guess. Okay, Larm. I got you. Uh, let's use one odd, sure. Uh, let's use night crawler on this one. Because it's our 36 kg setup. Don't want to, anything too big. So we will hopefully get burbots and stuff on this. 33. Perfect. Okay. Holy cow. <laughs> Baba Bui, no. Nowhere close to as big trouble as you. No way. I just cannot afford a 5 to 10 hour fight. It's just no. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we get something good. Uh, it's 2.45 p.m. Uh, the max I want to stream till is 6 p.m. If we get something huge. I might end up pushing it to let's say 7 p.m. But I just... You know what? Let's, let's see what happens. Let's hope for the best here. I just want a full lock on Sturge and just bring them in. Uh, let's sell our fish first, though. Uh, I'm gonna AFK as well, but uh, let me just get set up at Aktuba, and then I'll AFK for two minutes. Oh, I wish I could roll here on the big river. Mm. 
Cafe, do we have anything? Absolutely not. One hundred forty two silver ish. Oh man, that sucks. Uh four twenty three gram is not fifteen silver, it's eleven point eight six silver. Uh seven ninety two gram is twenty two silver. I mean these are good priced fish, but like I said, we need to catch a whole lot of them. For it to be uh you know three four hundred silver per hour. Oh look at that, I'm at a thousand silver now. Nice. Let's do this. Let's get our uh, try hard faces on. All right. <clears throat> So 41108, it's somewhere here. I think it's facing this way right at the edge. So you just made a new account so you can start from fresh. Dylan, why? All the best. Look at this loach. The Snickers chocolate bar. Yum. All tiny fish here. All right, let's waste money on this expensive boat. Hello? There we go. Ah, okay. Let's see. Let's see how many streams it takes before I catch a trophy. As you guys know, gibbles, crucians, roaches, ruffs don't count as trophies. So let's see. Yesterday, no trophy, sadly. Today, no trophy. I really don't want a beluga trophy. I, not even that I don't want it, that I won't be able to get it. Uh, who the heck knows, guys? Maybe, like, we just get that odd Burbit trophy out of nowhere. But if not today, then next week for sure. And as you guys know, just a reminder, February, I believe the second weekend is when I'm going to US. If the virus doesn't screw around too much. Um, and flights don't, you know, shut down or anything. I will be going to Florida. And then I will probably stream in March. But don't worry. I will be probably releasing random videos from Florida. Whatever I record. Oop. Oop. Our hair. Come on, get off. Get off. There we go. Okay. What is this spot? 41108. Wow, there we go. A month without aw. Felix, don't worry. Like I said, I will be in contact with you guys through the through the community wall like i'll probably make some posts there um and release random real life videos snippets and stuff i'll do my best whatever content i can to give you guys i think guys this is how you do it you just cast there we go 33 meter clip on live bait yes Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna- Oh, shoot. Uh, no, you don't use PV air. You know what? I need to use PV on this one.
No, no, no. Huh? Oh, no, Dylan, don't worry. It's, uh... It should be for public as well, the post I make. It should be open for everyone. CBS stick 50 gram. Crab mussels. Yes. This is our Sturge mix right here, baby. All right. I hope this is it. 33 meters. It feels a little too far. Oh, no. Did this just go limp? Or maybe that's our live bait moving, even though it's dead. Oh, no. Are we already getting in trouble here? No. Okay. I'm freaking out, okay, guys? Just leave me alone. Alright, I'm gonna AFK quickly. I will be right back. In... Oh, my God. Stop it! I think we already have a fish on. See how the line is tense now? It's not... It's moving. It's moving. I don't know if it's our dead perch or if it's the current of the river. Or if it's something. Not spazzing. Alright, I'm gonna quickly AFK. Hopefully nothing spools us.
Okay, I'm back. Got something small here, probably. Hey, Burbit. <laughs> Uh, this was a nightcrawler, so I wasn't too worried. 2.5 kg burb. Yeah, our dead perch keeps uh, playing around here. Someone just got a blue marker melt. Nice. So on our middle one, we got 50 grand PVA, which is for Russian sturgeons. That's so cool. We're finally using that. On the other TI rod, we're using live bait, so there is no PVA with that. And on our 36 kg setup, we have uh, just Nightcrawler because I don't want any sturge on this. Uh, so let's see what happens. Uh, 41108, I believe we're doing this right because we're in this hole, apparently. That's where it is. Okay. Uh, Felix, you have a berserk hook on it, and it seems to be working correct so far. Berserks are a good quality hook. Uh, so that is a very wise investment right there. Noise. Ah, oh, I just hope uh, we get something here, guys. Uh, I think on that dead perch, we have a chance of getting uh, a fish. Muscle meat. I have three pieces of muscle meat. If mole is too quiet for a while, I will switch over to the muscle meat because that's the thing that's working. Uh, express fishing hook. Yeah, it could be that was way too weak. Weak sauce. Uh, just a waiting game. <laughs> oh, Bav. This dead perch keeps playing around. Uh, let's check here. Uh, zebra mussel, crayfish, crab meat. It is rather slow bite rate, but that's how it is. Ooh. Um, T-Rex, welcome to the family. Thank you so much for subscribing. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Yes. Come on. I want to see some action. Oh, could this be What's going on with this perch? The sir cooks only for you, yes, Felix. Cooks. We have uh bloody series. Love the bloody series. They're always really good. That's like 
the cheapest, best quality hooks, I guess. Uh, besides that, the Zerg Ultra series, I believe, are the best ones. They have the highest uh, KG rating. You know what? I feel like I should just have a cra uh, zebra muscle. Zebra. Uh, also, you've worked out for the rod and reel. You need to save at least 4,564 silver. Nice. You'll be there within a week. Don't worry. <laughs> uh. AG Giblet. Aktuba, look at how many famous inhabitants there are at Aktuba. Short headed barbel, 20 kilos. What? 20 kg barbel? How? Bigger than these asps. 14 kg asp. Wait, how is that? Okay, 14 kg wild carps. Russian sturgeon, 123 kg. Ooh, 45 kg grass, buffaloes, 22. Persian sturgeon, 163. Dang. It's dying, Baba Bui. Finally, yes. That's good. That's good. Hopefully, it comes in soon enough. Felix, only a week? <laughs> You're only low 22. Even after unlocking all the maps, sometimes it, it's still hard to uh, consistently keep making money. But that dead perch is definitely possessed. Because it's just messing about. Hello? Welcome, welcome. Uh, once I get this set up, my goal is to fish at bear for carp. I hope when you do go to bear, uh, bear is active. <laughs> There's two, two spots, two main spots that you can check out that are usually active. Uh, let's see, belugas. Only a 14 kg belugas come out. What? On roach. I wonder if this is dead roach or a live roach. 
Uh, Russian sturgeon. That's a Persian. Russian sturgeon is on mole cricket. So there we go. Mole cricket is working better for the Ruskies. Depending on how long it takes, maybe level 26 and go to Amber instead. Yeah, Amber is going to be your first taste of big fish. Like, you know, you're catching 10 kg carp, 15 kg carp, 20 kg trophy. I loved Amber when I unlocked it. Spent like two months straight at Amber every day. Because I really wanted something of a really good like bottom fishing spot. And I couldn't get it until Amber. Got a 15 kg grass at OB. There you go, that's good. Come on, Octuba, give me something here. We got a tiny something here. Really all this weight for like the tiniest fish ever. <laughs> uh, what, oh, that's a burb. Come on, give me a trophy burb at least. 2kg, whoops. Oh. Alright, we got something at least. All right, had a burb on a dead perch. Oi, Nightcrawler getting something here. Okay, this is gonna be our biggest burb for 2.9 at 2 kg, okay. Alright, PBA, you're the only rod that I don't have fish on, so let's get a move on. Three hundred forty gram burb. Oh, don't worry. You'll get a marker. There we go. How's the temps looking? 37 degrees. I think that's normal for Octuba. I don't think that's too hot. And I don't think surgeons and catfish really care about temperature. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. For a moment, I thought we had a bite. But it's just the perch being weird. Uh, 
<laughs> honey badger don't give a damn. Uh, Babinuk, are you busy tomorrow? Are you at work? Will you be streaming tomorrow? Okay, got your stream. Nice. But nowhere. Perfect. Do we have a fish here finally, or...? Because I'm trying and seeing if I can get it together without you guys in the morning. Yay, I think we got a fish. Oh my god, another tiny one. What is going on? Ah. Uh. 2.7 kg burb. Uh, so right now, 16 minutes. Four burbits uh, around the 2 kg mark. Hi, Gustav. Thank you so much for being a part of the stream. Uh, we will uh, do a raid soon enough. Could be worse. Could be 340 gram bear, but true. On like a 30,000 silver setup. Plus, you know, the rest. I think these four should hopefully pay for the boat ticket, which is 12 silver and whatever money it costed to come to Aktuba. Yeah, 45 silver it uh, costed us because we were at a thousand silver before we came here. Yeah, we're going to do a... Uh... I don't throw a lure in a water for cats under 50k. Damn. <laughs> Mr. High Roller here. Wait, hold on. The Venja alone is 30 grand and the tie rod is 20 grand. So that is 50k. Never mind. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, we are going to do a raid at Gustav's stream. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stream for. Maybe another 45 minutes. Unless we get a big fish on and we got to continue forward. I just want a few sturge, that's all I want. I just want a full lock and bring them in. Seems like I'm asking for too much though. Oh, 
dragging 150 kg fish with the caliber. Damn. Will we be getting a sturge on our zebra muscle? Uh, we have a fish, but come on, really? Let me guess another burbot, of course. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Nothing but burbs. Uh Oh yeah, that's um PBA we're using too, so we just spent PB on that burb. No. Um on the right rod, like I keep getting slack and then tension on the line because apparently that's how live bait act. Even though this is a dead live bait, uh, it's still doing the same thing. It looks like I have a fish on, but I don't. No, no, it's okay, Milan. It's all good. I just noticed it too. In the beginning, I was like, oh no, what's going on? I think we're getting action. Uh, but then after a while, I just figured it was, uh, it was the life bait itself. The other slack all of a sudden. In a little bit, it's going to tense up again. Oh yeah, dead life bait, perfect. <laughs> Technically, it's dead bait, but... And that's why I don't stream sturgeon fishing at Aktuba because uh, as you can see it's more of an alt tab type of fishing. Let me guess another burb. But this is on Nightcrawler so I expect a burb on this. Uh, but not the other two rods. Oh. Ooh. 1.3 kg Eastern Bream. I will take that. Okay. Julio. Sturge. If I ever go sturge fishing, it's uh, all tab type of fishing. I'll be all tab. I'll be uh, editing my videos or doing other things. Just browsing the internet. So. Uh... Eastern Bream. I believe we have an Eastern Bream trophy, right? Eastern Bream. I should have an Eastern Bream trophy. I remember farming it on stream. Yes, we do. Eastern Bream. 4.6 kg. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
be fishing. Okay. Damn. Again, a Nightcrawler. Oh, Sterlet. No, Shorthead Barbel. Never mind. 1.1 kg Shortheaded Barbel. It's been a very, very long time since I caught this last time. Like months and months and months. I actually don't even remember last time I got a Shortheaded Barbel. <gasps> no. No. Uh, we just broke his leader. He's been fighting that fish for two hours now. Honest caliber. Oh, poor guy. Oh, his leader just broke. Dylan, you just unsnagged on your first try. Very nice. Uh... Congrats on that. Damn, but that sucks. Yeah, I've said it several times. I absolutely don't like the fact that after you fight for 5 to 10 hours and your leader and friction break are almost dead, you're unable to reel the fish in when the fish is dead itself. And like, that's absolutely stupid. If the fish is dead, then it should, like, automatically weigh 1 kg, so you can just reel it in. Baba Bui, sorry to hear that. I think you spent a good two hours on that fish. Uh, what's the friction break on your Cali, bro? That was intense, damn. Milan, I am at B5. And uh, we have a whole lot of burbots. We have Eastern Bream and a short-headed burble. That's about it. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy you came positive out of that, Baba Bui. Good man. <laughs> Alright, Milan. All the best. I don't know. I'd be pretty mad. After two hours, my leader broke. After fighting a fish for two hours, oof, I wouldn't be happy. But then I wouldn't go sturge fishing with a caliber, so... <laughs> How much did your friction break go down by? Like, is it twenty percent out? Twenty eight percent wear and tear. Not bad. Baba is a crazy person. Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting small feet here. Uh, Baba was fishing for sturgeons, but he ended up getting a beluga. If I understand the chat right. <laughs> and unfortunately, after a two hour fight, the leader broke. And now there's a big fat hook stuck in that beluga's mouth forever. It's like a piercing, you know, like a lip, lip ring or whatever it is that women wear. <laughs> Under, okay, big fat beluga. Yeah, someone was saying, wasn't it you, uh, Sebastian? 
Someone got a 68 kg Russian Sturgeon trophy on the caliber in two hours. That's insane. Please give me one sturgeon. One big fish. Like 20 kg. Before the end of the stream. And I'll be happy. Ooh, Beluga with the 19 kg e Siberian. Good work, Beluga. Oh, there we go. Our PV is getting something. Nice. Oh, damn. I maxed out the bricks right there. Oh, my God. I almost snapped my line right away, guys. On the Tagara. Uh, our... Okay, so right now I'm using the Tagara and a 60 kg line on this tie rod. So as soon as I maxed my brake, it maxed all my friction brakes, so that was scary. Big mistake. On my other tie rod with the Venja, we have a tiny fish on, as you can see. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Yeah, I have to be careful. That was kind of stupid of me. All right. This is the fight I wanted, I guess. I swear, that Venja is going to annoy the heck out of me now. This is a beluga. It's slowly ticking away. I was asking for it, finally. Uh, but the issue is, I got like half hour to the stream and I kinda wanna go now. <laughs> but whatever, we'll see. This could be like a 20 kg or 30 or 40 kg fish and I don't even know it. I really want to max break this now. Maybe a catfish. Oh man, what should I do? Should I like max out the break? We have a 60 kg line. And our Tagar is only 2.9% friction break. Oh, what should I do? A max break, a max break. If I break it, it's okay. Very stressful to watch, holy cow. I can't see, but it's a catfish by the looks of it. Am I even walking back or am I stuck? Oh no, I am walking back. No, no cat, no, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't you flip and do it. My ba break is maxed out. Oh god. Please. You can do this, Tagara. If I walk back, I'm gonna start walking down the mountain. And that might mess me up.
I gotta start walking, guys. No, 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 no. Damn it. Oh, you little... I screwed up. I screwed up. Damn. Ah, oh, man. I was so close. I thought he was on land. And, uh... It is a catfish. Let's bring him to the surface before we start walking back. And we added so much more time to this. And we could have just easily had him. We're going to be a little more patient this time and try and bring him in like this. We got him. I hope it's a 40 kg at least. I don't see him anymore. There we go. Extend that stupid net and 44 kg catfish. Yes. Ooh. All right. <laughs> we could have had that a lot earlier, but as you guys saw, I, I didn't land it all the way to the shore. So when I started walking up, uh, it ran away again. Another catfish. 6.5 kg. Thank you, everyone. Holy cow, that was stressful on the 60 kg setup.
but like I literally drank two million gallons of tea. That kind of sucked. Let's see how much I destroyed the Tagara by 3% friction break. I think we went by 1%. Mecha. All right, you know what? 44 kg catfish. There we go. I'm happy with that. <laughs> we got something. Hello, Mr. Big. Ah, uh, we full locked a catfish on our Tagara on the tie rod. Took us a few minutes longer than it was supposed to because once I brought it close to shore, I thought it was beached. Then I walked front and it just went away. I don't know, that was like, what, five minutes? Unnecessary five minutes. Pegasus, hello. Homo, hello, Laszlo. <laughs> thank you, thank you. 28 likes, we're almost at 30. Noise. So we didn't get the Sturge on the Mole Cricket. We did, however, get a cat. So, what else? It's, it's a win. I kind of want to farm the spot, like, after the stream as well. But unfortunately, I gotta make and record other videos too, so I just... Oof. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Sure, go yum yum. <laughs> uh, thank you. Is that live? Is that not live gibble or dead? Because I do have a few dead gibbles. Uh, ooh, live ones. Alright, so how many hours will these take to expire? Because uh, after the stream, I'm going to go ahead, have a dinner. And then I guess I'll be back for these. I know, I finally have some fresh live bait. Sponsored by Mr. Big Hair. Nice, 4 kg Russian sturgeon. Finally, we're getting something. On the very expensive PVA. <laughs> Thank you, big. Guys, don't forget we gotta do a raid on uh, Gustav's stream. If I forget, please remind me. No, you ain't getting my live urge. Don't worry, biggie. Uh, I think 100% bait fish lasts 48 hours in real life. Good real life days. Okay. So these are what, 50%? They're 63. Oh yeah, we have many hours. So I'll be back in like another two hours probably, and I'll give it a shot with these four live giblets. 47%. Okay. Thank you, big. I'll try with that. We are using dead perch on this one, but we have all we've got is burbits and the 6.5 kg cats. How long have we been here? 44 minutes. We might even make like 150 silver here, maybe even 200 silver, like 180 to 200 silver. Because I did, I think this 44 kg cat is 70 silver. I would guess. I don't remember. Uh, Burbits. We have a few. Let's see. Twenty nine likes. Thank you, guys. I was worried there wasn't going to be enough. Good fishing for today's stream and uh, it was gonna be not great but you know what we made it we made it to the end and uh, I'm happy I'm happy with what we got today man I smell food all the way down here ah 
Uh, 98101 got you three belugas in two hours if you want to dare devil try it. Oof. One was 100 plus kg. Damn. And what's this spot is good for cats and sturgeons, I guess. And maybe a very low chance of belugas. But at 98101, it's just belugas. Um, but belugas are on live perch, no? Uh, Pegasus, when you got a 20 kg, 28 kg cat, it was 70 seconds. Yeah, 20 kg cat on a Tagara is no probs. It's just that, um, the gear ratio is so very bad for reeling in big fish because you reel it in very slow. You're not even fighting, it's just the reeling in takes like a good minute. That I might share with you if you need perch. Oh, big thank you so much, but it's okay. Not, I'm not gonna go with the live perch. If I do log into R4 tonight, I'm probably gonna come to this spot again. And I'm going to use the live bait you gave me. Thank you, though. Whoop, whoop. 31 likes. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Uh, we got like a good, what, 15 minutes? I can spare another hour if we get something good here. We're gonna wait a little bit more. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, your 28 kg catfish was 70 silver. Holy moly, really? 28 kg is 70 silver, then this 44 kg is 120 or 130 silver then. Nice. Do I have PVS still? Yes, I do. Oh. My crawler got something. Yeah, for a second I thought you said seconds and I'm like, what? You're very specific. <laughs> Another short-headed barbel, 1 kg. We got two 1 kg barbels on night crawler. Guys, if you want a short-headed barbel, I got an active spot for ya. I'm kidding. Huh. Wow, 70 silver for 20, 30 kg. That's really good. I know catfishies were good money. <laughs> I didn't act a spot for fear. Two burbles. Got in a random eastern bream here. Got a few burbs on all the rods. Nightcrawler, mole cricket, I think, and dead perch. Uh, then we got two cats. Cat hole, fish hole. I just don't like how the dead perch puts slack on the line and then it just tenses the line and then slack and it's just ugh, bothers me so i'm thinking oh 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 i think we got a fish Who's gonna be the next rod to give me a fish? And it is our live dead perch. And it is a urbit. 
Plus, why the hell not? Oh, it's a cat. A non-marker cat. Look at that. I just don't know why. We got a four odd hook. Why game? Why? See this guys? See this? Bait fish. 28 fish caught on bait fish. Zero trophies. I intend to change this from zero to um zero uh and this 28 will be probably you know like 200 <laughs> oh man pop up method carolina paternoster texas rig wow what trophy did i get on texas rig look 45 fish one trophy the heck that was probably a Laduga or Ladoga, I apologize. A very long time ago. Luprig as the winner here. 2400 fish with 84 trophies. Nice. I never got a char trophy. I think it was probably like a Wendy's or something. Yeah, I got a 2.88 kg char. And that's it. I don't remember catching any trophies at Ladoga. Uh, when I was using Texas rig. So weird. What the heck did I catch? A smelt maybe? Foam rubber fish 004. I think this is it. I think this is it on uh Might be it on the Texas rig. You're cute. Hey, hello, how's it going? Not a big fan of RF4, but enjoying my stream. Oh man. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think that was it. I wish I got a char. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Another tiny fish. Ah. My mole, cricket, and PVA. Why? Russian sturgeon, not even a marker, but we will keep it. Ooh, we got back into Fishing Planet. No, I haven't played Fishing Planet in forever. Uh, I started playing that game, I streamed it, made videos on it, and then it came to a point where I just... It was not sustainable. It was way too expensive. So, uh, I just... Ever since then, I stopped playing that game. <laughs> it is fun. I agree. It is fun. And for a moment I thought that live bait had a fish, but likes messing around with us.
Anyone got catfish yet? Oh no. Non-stop action. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can catch a lot of fish. Um, tomorrow morning, uh, my internet is being switched, so I don't know if I'll even be able to be online tomorrow morning. Damn it. Ah, uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, we are getting fiber optics. Hopefully the speeds are still good. Uh, let's see here. Catfish. Oh, look, I'm in third place, 44 kg for today. <laughs> That's funny. 84 kg someone already has. Yeah, I'm changing to Bell Fiber. I was already with Bell. Uh, we have like the 150 uh, plan or whatever it is, but I get 300 Mbps. And uh, now they're saying, uh, since our contract is up, uh, they said that, hey, we'll give you a deal if you go with our same 150 Mbps setup, but with fiber optics. You have a 1 GB setup? Holy cow, that is insane. That's really good. I have 20 Mbps up, that's what they're saying, and I really hope we get it, because I am streaming. Um, I think in 20 Mbps I can even do like a 60 FPS stream at 1080p. Oh, I can already- okay, okay. We already got that, 1080p at 60 FPS, I think that's good enough. It actually goes up to 900 plus. Damn. That is sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> the only issue is after the year, the prices go up, right? Because uh, the promotion ends, and that's just so annoying. Every year, you gotta negotiate with them. You can stream to 4K. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. See that? That's why I don't like live bait. It looks like you have a fish, but it's just your uh, live bait derping around. Even though it's not alive. Uh, YouTube it lets you stream higher than Twitch. Nice! But the thing is... Who is even watching a stream at 4K? It's almost very little people, right? So, fence. Might have a fish here. Almost had a fish, but, uh, might strike. Yes, maybe. Oh, oh, it could be a fish. Please don't be a tiny little burbot. That line's going, that line's going. Is it spazzing out? No, it's not. Something's taking it that way, but it's not hooked in right now. Because the text isn't spazzing out. We're going to wait a little bit here and see what happens. Ooh, ooh. We... Okay, our Nightcrawler. Our Nightcrawler was the first to go. And I think our second one is about to go... Yeah, I would say that's a fish right there. 
Damn, another short-headed barbel. This is the spot for burbles. A nightcrawler. Oh, it's a tiny fish. On our PVA and uh, mole cricket. Oh, catfish. 5 kg catfish. Imagine if this was an albino catfish, I would squeal. That is a fish. <laughs> oh yeah, shoot cute. No, I understand. You have the option to stream at 4K. <laughs> um, Alberto, what is the best way to earn silver? You are level 32. Um... I'm not sure if Amber is active today, but Amber was really good yesterday when I was streaming. I was making 400 silver per hour there. Uh, Tunguska, Small River, yeah, yeah, I don't know. You can make two to 300 silver per hour easily there at times. Uh, it depends what's active, honestly. When Archipelago is active, you can make decent money there. Look at that, three short-headed barbels. Who would have thought? Nightcrawler. All right, um, I think I should all the four and sell our fish. How long have we been here? One hour, two minutes. Okay, yeah, let's do that. You hit Archipelago, I, I do too. I haven't had much luck there. And, uh, but you know what? Some people still do really good there, so. Uh, right now, Archipelago, not the best. No one has actually done well there. From what I hear, a uh, Tunguska trolling is usually good. Again, I haven't heard any good word from there either, even though Tunguska has good temperatures right now. It's so weird. Uh, carps. Yesterday when I was at Amber, I was using cocoa and cream pellets at 83 spot, which is the opposite of Pier 1. 35 meter clip. I made 400 silver there. Then I moved to 12155. Was using caviar corn, caviar red, uh, with 18 meter clip. And I also again made 425 silver in one hour. Whether those, um, whether those combinations are active today, I don't know. All right, let's see how much money we earned in one hour. Not bad. I'm just happy we got a decent sized fish or 44 kg. Uh, catfish was the biggest one of the day, so I'm happy. Uh, let's see, blue bream. No, crawfish. Uh, Snickers bar. No, Rod, no. Okay, we don't have anything. Uh, 230 silver in one hour. There we go. 113 silver, the single catfish, 44 kg. 4 kg Russian sturgeon, 16 silver. A lot of burbs here. Short-headed barbels, 9 silver. Not bad. 230, we are back to 1,000 silver. Uh, Alberto, you did 800 to 1,000 silver in two hours. That's four to 500 silver per hour. That's amazing money. That is amazing money. How do you hate Archipelago? Holy cow. Uh, caviar is working. Okay, that's great. It was working yesterday. I think it should be hopefully working today as well then. 
uh all right guys thank you so much for all the likes uh before we finish the stream guys i need a favor uh we have to do a raid on gustav's stream it commiserations all the same uh because again he's been very very supportive of our channel here so i urge and ask all of you to visit his channel even if you are going to log off just say hi like his stream and then leave if you want to uh, but he's a great guy i love his irish accent lots of fun and uh yeah i'll see you on his chat have a great rest of your week please check out the channel for other videos have a great week guys i'll see you next weekend until then enjoy guys